CDC just issued an alert for doctors here in the U.S. warning them of a new... I don't know if y'all noticed the pattern, but this is going to be a yearly thing. So let's get down to business. Prevention is protection. And the best way to start is right now. A lot of people wait until it hits the household or it hits the area to be prepared or to start preparing. And it's too late. You shouldn't have to use a remedy over and over and over again if you've already been prepared. We're going to start off with elderberries. You can make syrups. You can make teas. You can eat them. They're great for all ages. Fights against fever. It fights against sneezing. It fights against coughs. It fights against infection. It fights against literally almost everything you can think of when it comes down to any type of sickness. Consume this daily, starting today. Up next on the list, we have nettles. You can make teas with these. They are highly, highly, highly potent. And guess what? They rebuild your kidneys. They rebuild your adrenal glands because this is one of the most essential factors that you're going to need to rebuild and strengthen your lymphatic system. Getting sick is rarely about what's coming in and going out. It's more so about how your system reacts to the pollutants and our things that's trying to immerse you or affect you. You should be working on building up your lymphatic system to where no matter what comes in, you're fine. Or as close to fine as you can be as a human. Lastly, because I want to keep it short, cold pressed fruit juice. I personally make my own. I make sure I have a lot of berries, a lot of melons, things of that nature that not only keep me hydrated, but keeps me healthy. Majority fruits and vegetables. Fruits are the detoxifiers and vegetables are the builders. Get in the habit of cleaning yourself out right now, building your system up right now. And last but not least, cover yourself spiritually. Psalms 103 verses 2 through 3. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all of my diseases. Couple that with knowing that faith without works is dead. So guess what? Take everything I told you to do plus the scriptures and the prayer and guess what? You'll be fine. I hope this helped y'all. God bless.